confession. I've actually just got back from the hairdressers. What do you think? Uh, so I, it's not December the 1st right now. <laughs> By the time you're watching this it is, but I just wanted to basically give you an overview. Obviously I'm doing Vlogmas this year, which is very exciting and a little bit scary. So I'm gonna try my absolute best to obviously upload every evening, like late afternoon, evening from the previous day, basically vlogging it. In between, I have a few things planned, such as um, a couple of collabs, uh, gift guides, things like that. But essentially, the basis is gonna be around vlogging the entire month of December up until Christmas. So the way that I'm formatting it, I know people do it very differently, but the ones that I like watching the most are a full day's worth of vlogging, and then that day is uploaded the following evening. So for instance, you guys are watching this on December the 1st. For me, it's not December the 1st, but I am currently vlogging December the 1st. That day that you're sat there watching this, I am vlogging to upload the 2nd of December in the afternoon slash evening, as soon as I get it edited and uploaded basically. So that is the way that I'm gonna do it so that you will have a video every day throughout December and then on Christmas Eve, I'll obviously be vlogging Christmas Eve to upload on Christmas Day. Vlogging Christmas Day, Boxing Day, thereafter may do some kind of vlog towards the end of December, like a compiled few days. But essentially that is how I think the majority of vlogmases work. <laughs> So that is what I'm going to be doing. I have got a bit of <coughs> a lingering cold, so excuse the croaky voice. So today's video, with it not quite being the 1st of December, so I've not quite got any advent calendars to open or anything yet, what I'm going to do is show you how I decorated what I'm currently looking at, which is Bruce the Spruce. I ran an Instagram poll on naming our Christmas tree and you guys picked Bruce the Spruce. So Brucey is over there all dressed and looking all pretty. So today I'm gonna to run through and give you an overview as to where I got all the baubles and the decorations from along with decorating the tree. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna stop talking now and get on into the video and then I will see you tomorrow whereby I will be vlogging the first of December. I hope you guys enjoy Vlogmas this year. Do give me a thumbs up on the videos. It means so much and it really helps out my channel. Of course, be subscribed and hit the notification bell so you can see when I post every day. Love you guys so much and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys. So this is an overview of the decorations that we've got for the tree this year. I'll just show you the space that we're putting it in first of all. It'll be that corner there. So I've cleared the space, moved the table here. But for now, I'm gonna show you the decorations that I've got. These are pretty much categorized by shop. First of all, let's start with these two throws and they are either both of them or one of them are gonna be used as the tree skirt this year. So the tree that we get, the real one has, it comes set in like a little log. So it can be freestanding on its own, it doesn't need a base, but I'm just gonna kinda cover the log with definitely this one, maybe this one as well, we'll see. And both of these were from B&M Bargains. For baubles, I picked up two from Morrison's at four pounds each these were. This is the first set, and as you can tell, they've got like woodland theme, which obviously is my theme for my tree this year. So there's some pine leaves, some pine cones, and some berries. And then I've also got these ones. They've got like a little gold lid, and they've got brown feathers in, which I thought was super, super pretty. Then this is from Home Bargains. They are the only baubles I got from Home Bargains this year, for now, anyway. We'll see how full the tree looks, but I'm pretty sure I've got enough here. So this is, I can't remember how much these were. They're probably about two pounds. You'll see in my come shopping with me, I talked about these, I'm pretty sure. So if you get to see that video, basically the vlog of me buying all this, then I will leave it linked so you can head over there and watch it. And then this section here is from Tesco. So the sitting deer was £3.50 and depending on how my tree looks, I may be putting these sort of things in my tree, we'll see. I think this one was £2.50. These glitter birds that you can stick on were two pounds and the rest of them I think were two pound fifty but like I said they're on three for two. There's this gorgeous 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 bird here and then some more robins to clip on with a little bit of 
red glitter. I've got loads of pine cones, probably got way too many, but these are some glitter coated ones with slightly, like a little bit of gold glitter on. And then this bauble here, which adds a bit of color, and it's got the pine cone element with some berries and leaves. This was a little um, table placement I got at the Feel Unique event you may have seen in my weekly vlog. So I'm going to see and if I can maybe put that one on. I got these from Pound Stretcher at £1.29. And then also this, which is like a decorative robin pick at a pound. And then this section here is B&M. So I've got some pine cones and these ones are cinnamon scented at £3.99. I went for the 1000 warm white. LED lights and these were reduced from £29.99 down to £22. I also got some snow prep snow spray which potentially I will add to the tree I'm gonna see how it looks though I got this big pack of pine cones snowy pine cones at 3 dollars and then I got these luxury baubles at 2 dollars they've got like little sequin things in white ones and I went for the gold ones as well this wreath I believe it was five pound from Poundland last year and they also have smaller ones at two pounds which again are really really nice so I'm going to put that on our front door this little section here are Wilco's so we've got a pine cone decoration here at a pound with little gold berries on and then I also got this cute little hedgehog hanging bauble with um with some like fake snow in it and then we've got some gold sprayed pine cones at a pound this one was also two pounds and I really like this one it's got like a little opening here where you can see the robin inside and then this one is also um it's got like fake snow in it this one's like my probably one of my biggest baubles I've got it's like a teardrop shape with a cork lid and some twigs on the inside it was five pounds which seems pretty pricey but ta-da it lights up how pretty is that I'll do these couple of bits at the back here this bad boy was from TK Maxx he was $5.99 so there's a little like clip attachment that you just clip him onto the tree it's got a long feather boa tail which you'll see in my panland bags I have feather boas for my tree this year so I'm going to see how that looks like and they're all white and then I also got this from TK Maxx which is like a garland which I think I'm going to put on our either on the mantelpiece here or potentially in front of the TV there's like a little ledge as well so I might put it on there and that one was $4.99 and then moving on to the range which for me this year was the best for decorations I have this which i thought was a really good idea especially if you've got children santa's footprints neutral it's one of those deodorizer carpet things carpet fresheners that you just sprinkle on and it's in the scent festive pine which is like my fave and inside is a free footprint stencil to mark santa's footprints which i thought was a good idea what i'm just going to say with all of these decorations is they're pretty much all between about one pound fifty and three pounds so this little gold glass pine cone little robin well i say little he looks pretty chunky this little wooden decoration with a little tree and bell in the middle these which i might just use to bulk the decorations up wish you a merry christmas merry and bright it's the most wonderful time of the year this bauble which i love it's got like gold sequins but it they're imprinted so you can't feel the sequins you can just feel like glass how pretty is that these i actually got two of these because i love them so much they're nice big chunky white baubles that look like they're just snow covered so i love them so these have got like little feathers in and i think i got maybe i only got one of them i thought i got two and then this is like a thing that you put on your door <laughs> but um i'm probably gonna put it on the tree this cute little fuzzy owl he's so cute this is probably one of my favorite decorations it's a little lovebird swing so you just hang it on like that and there's two lovebirds there oh cute and then this little guy this little hedgehog or in fact is he a hedgehog yeah and then this hedgehog as well which is a little bit heavier so i might have to set this quite deep into the tree and rest it on a branch because it's a little bit heavy and then these cute little clips with like white birds on and they've also got feather tails so that'll work well with this bird and the feather boas and then these guys are quite light so i'm going to try and set these in the tree as well we've got a squirrel here I think they were about four or five pounds and then a little hedgehog as well and then this color is beautiful it's like a beigey blush pink and gold I love that one and then oh yeah I did get a second one I thought I did another little 
robin pick that you can just stick in the tree and then this big love heart one it's nice to have like different size baubles and then this guy i'm gonna sit i think in front of the tree on the like ledge that I was talking to you about, about the TV. So I think he's just gonna sit there. And then last but not least, we have the Poundland bags, which this one I think is pretty much just full of feather boas and some twine for wrapping paper. So last but not least, we have these two tree decorations, again at, from Poundland at only a pound. There's a snowflake and a Christmas tree. And then these you can like DIY and paint them, I think. That's what you meant to do, wooden shapes. But I just quite like them plain, so I might not use all of these, but I might find a couple, like the stockings, snowman, snowflakes, and a little reindeer as well. So I picked up those. And then this I thought was a really good idea. There are fill your own baubles. You get three in a pack with the little hanging loop as well. So inside these, I'm thinking either, or maybe both, gold coins in a couple of them, gold chocolate coins. And then maybe even like some of the feathers from the feather boa, any that drop out or I can just pick some out and put some in a bauble. I thought that would look real pretty. Let's get on with picking up the tree that I've just bought and decorating it. Your pants. 